interquartile range, or IQR. So what exactly is interquartile range? Well, if we pick apart the word, inter means inner, quartile is quarter, and range is the high minus the low. The IQR is the range of the middle 50% of your data. And we're going to take a look at the IQR in this video. Now, just a quick reminder that you can describe data by its center, by its mean or its median, and you can also describe data by its spread, uh, by its range or its interquartal range or mean absolute deviation. So how do I find the interquartal range? It's actually really easy. Now, here's a box plot, and we learned how to make these in another video. Just remember that the box in a box plot represents the middle 50% of your data. This represents the middle 50% of your data. And the inner quartal range is the range of that middle 50%. So how far is it from here to here? What is the range? So it's really easy to figure out. We take the third quartile, which is 94, and we subtract from that the first quartile, which is 80. So the interquartal range is 14. So the range of the middle 50% is 14. So when you look at the IQR, it tells you whether or not the middle 50% is that data spread out or is it clustered. Now, if these are test scores and they appear to be test scores in a class, this is pretty, this is spread out because if we look at the range of all the data, if we did the high minus low of all the data, that'd be 100 minus 77. The range of all the data is 23, and our interquartal range is 14. So that, that tells me that data is the middle 50%. Those grades were pretty spread out in the middle 50% of the class. So see if you can figure out what the interquartal range is of this data set. Again, see if you can find the third quartile. That would be right here. Look at that first quartile. And then just subtract them. Because the interquartal range is the range of the middle 50%. So it would be 10. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, find the IQR of some more box plots. So here we have eggs laid. And the third quartile would be 18. The first quartile is 8. So the interquartal range would be 18 minus the first quartile. Your interquartal range would be 10. So this data, if you look at the interquartal range here, again, that's pretty big, 10, because the range of all the data, 24 minus 6, the range of all the data is 18, and the interquartal range, the range of that middle 50% is 10. So that data is pretty spread out, that middle 50%. Okay, here are some graphing test scores of a particular class. The third quartile, that would be right here, would be 97. Your first quartile is right here, that's 92. So we subtract the third and the first quartile, and we have an interquartal range of five. Uh, five is the interquartal range. Now, if we look at the range of all the scores in that class, they vary from 100 to 82. So the range of all the scores is 18. But the range of the middle 50%, this is pretty clustered. This is the middle 50% of the class. And we only have a range here of five points. So that tells you that um, the middle 50% of the class were, was clustered in this area here. All right, how would I find the interquartal range? I don't have a box plot to look at. How would I find the interquartal range of this data? Well, it's actually pretty easy. And we're going to construct a real quick box plot. So if you remember, the first thing we have to do is find the median. So the median of all the data is 16. Then we look at the lower 
the first quartile or the lower median would be 12. We're going to look at the top 50%, the upper 50%. Our third quartile would be 24. So you could go ahead and make your box, make your whiskers. So the third quartile is 24. The first quartile is 12. And if we subtract the two, our interquartal range for that data would be 12. So what else can you, what else does the IQR show you? Well, one thing it can do is help you to identify if there are any outliers in your data. And again, remember, an outlier is a piece of data that is um, pretty far from all the other data. So first, let's find out what the IQR of this box plot is. So here's our middle 50%. And if you take the third minus the first quartile, we have an IQR of 6. Well, if you take the IQR and you multiply it times 1.5, so 6 times 1.5 would be 9. And then you add that value to your third quartile. Now, the third quartile is 32. If we add 9 to that and we get 41, Anything outside of 41 would be, could be considered an outlier. So we probably have an outlier here. You also take that number 9 and we subtract it from um, our first quartile. And the first quartile is 26. So if I subtract 9 from that, I get 17. So anything past 17 would be an outlier. We don't have any outliers on this side of the data. So the IQR can actually be very useful in determining if you have any outliers in your data. So that's what a, an IQR is, uh, how you find it, and how you can use it.